Dogs are a hugely valuable exercise, especially for warm up and activation. Their purpose is for cross body stability and also for glute and abdominal activation. They're really important for those people that are doing exercise where you're moving a weight overhead. Because often when we get our shoulder into this flex position, if we are limited in our overhead mobility, what we will do is sacrifice stability from our trunk to get that position. So a bird dog, we work our shoulder through flexion whilst keeping our abdominals engaged. And the same applies when we're looking to get our leg extended and go to hip extension as well, we can often switch off our abdominals. In a bird dog, you perform both hip extension and shoulder flexion at the same time and still try to work on this connection here. And that's where a lot of people go wrong with this exercise is that they don't realize that it's about that and it just becomes a lazy mess in which you're getting absolutely zero benefit. So here, I'll show you how you should be performing it and also what you should be feeling. The first thing to do is to get into a four point kneeling position with your hands directly below your shoulders and your knees directly below your hips. Then we're going to look to find neutral spine or neutral pelvis, whichever you want to call it. To do that, I'm going to go in an extended position here, using those muscles in my lower and upper back to get as much extension through my spine as possible. Then I'm going to tuck my pelvis under by using my abdominals to pull my trunk into flexion. Come back into that extended position and then getting my spine, my back nice and flat, tucking my pelvis under like so. And I should feel here an engagement in my abdominals. And that's why we do it in such an order is that when I go to extension, I'll be using the muscles here in the posterior. And then when I go into flexion here to find that neutral position, I'll be using my abdominals. We want to make sure that we feel that connection when we're doing this exercise. Once we've got that, the key then is to keep that connection, to keep the distance between our rib cage and the pelvis the same throughout the exercise. I'm going to keep that connection here, extend opposite arm and opposite leg. So as I reach out towards the wall with my arm and towards my opposite leg with my opposite toe, I'm going to keep this connection in my abdominals. I'm feeling this squeeze here. Then you alternate to the other side. If when you do this, you feel your leg raising up and you feel tension here through your lower back, you would have definitely have lost the connection between your abdominals. It's important that we get in a position where we can keep that connection whilst we get shoulder flexion, reaching my arm as much towards that wall as possible, and also hip extension, so reaching my leg back as far away as possible here. When I reach my leg back, my goal is to get my glutes to fire, so I feel like my butt cheek, my glute contracts at the top of the rep as well, because when we go into that hip extension as well, often is the case that we extend our hips, but as we extend, we lean back and we sacrifice stability here. We want to get those glutes engaged whilst keeping that abdominal engagement. So that, that movement, that combination is used in so many exercises. I mean, a simple one would be a kettlebell swing. We engage our glutes, but we don't want to separate here. And again, where people injure themselves in, in movements like kettlebell swings and deadlifts, they will be engaging their glutes, but then they'll be switching off their abdominals. And that's when they get that compression in their lower back. So it's really important we find that neutral spine, keep our abs tight, work through shoulder flexion and hip extension, like so, keeping that connection. I'm trying to get my arm into as much flexion in that straight line to mirror an overhead press, a handstand press up, all of those movements we perform in a workout when we want to be keeping our abdominals engaged. We don't want to be losing that connection in those movements. Keep, we want to keep that midline stability as much as possible. So make sure you're performing bird dogs in your activation and warm ups, but make sure you're performing them correctly and feeling what you should be feeling to gain the benefit from them. Otherwise, they are worthless. Thanks for watching. Bird dogs.